than the SI units and the sub multiples which we use to measure the smaller values here and the next topic is the conversions of a unit, conversion of units, a simple method to convert the units. Let us see the first problem which is given in our book. So, convert 20 centimeters into meter that is the problem. So, convert 20 centimeter into meter. So, very simple problem. Let us identify what is given. So, the given step is 20 centimeters and the to be found is meters. Now, I have to take the 20 centimeters the value and now I have to convert that into meters. So, 20 this is a meter that is there is a value c. What is the value of c which is given in the table centi the meaning of that is centi. So, 20 into the value of c is equal to 10 to the power minus 2 if you just go through the table you will come across that that is equal to meter. So, simply what do you mean by this? This is the value numerical value and this obviously is converted into meter. So, 20 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meters. So, this is the value of centimeters in the meters. So, 20 centimeters I have taken and just concentrate on that c because it is a sub multiple of meter. So, what is the value of that sub multiple? What is the prefix centimeters? Centimeters 10 to the power of minus 2 the value and then substitute that value c and obviously it will be converted into meters. It is a very easy and first level of problem. Let us see the next step and uh, he converted 20 centimeters into micrometers. So, how to convert centimeter? Converting that uh, sub multiple um, meters into meters is very easy because direct answer will be getting if you substitute the substitute. But here he asked 20 meters uh, into then micrometers. The same problem he asked 20 meters to convert into micrometers. So, here the centi is 10 to the power of minus 2 and the micro is 10 to the power of minus 6. I remind. So, let us take the problem that is 20 centimeters. So, just underline that c value and then convert that 20 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meters, but actually the asked value is micrometers. So, I have to introduce a micro into the problem 10 to the power of minus 6 actually. The easy method of doing the problem is look at this 20 into 10 to the power of minus 2 I am writing it as it is and here I am going to do some modification. Here I want to take a fraction which is equal to 10 to the power of minus 6 and uh, 10 to the power of minus 6 means what I am doing here I am multiplying the given expression with 10 to the power of minus 6 and dividing the given expression with 10 to the power of minus 6 obviously there will be no change in the value of the given thing. So, and the meter is as usual. So, clearly observe I repeat 20, 20 as it is 20 from minus 2, 20 from minus 2 into in you know, a meter as it is and I am introducing a fraction here 10 to the minus 6 and 10 to the minus 6. The obviously, the value is equal to 1 when it is multiplied with the given expression there will be no change in the value. So, here and again the rearrangement I will be doing look at this the value I will be, be doing the rearrangement over here and then I will just write them separately 20 into 10 to the power of minus 2 and this 10 to the power of minus 6 let me write over here and this total setup I will write somewhere else 10 to the power of minus 6 meters. So, if you put it in the bracket so clearly you will be getting a micrometer. So, then you will understand why I have taken only 10 to the power of minus 6. What is the reason of taking micro minus 6? Because I want to introduce micrometer into the problem. So, this is an easy way of doing and then just value can be written as micrometers and then take the standard of minus 6 to the numerator obviously it becomes plus 6 plus 6 minus 2. So, 20 into 10 to the power of 4 and the answer is micrometers. This standard of minus 6 I am converting to micrometers. So, 20 centimeters when it is converted into micrometers it is between 20 into 10 to the power of 4 micrometers. So, let us use that rule once again that p is equal to n u when I explain I told you that numerical value is inversely proportional to u I told. So, compared to centimeter micrometer is a smaller unit when it is smaller let us check it 20 is a numerical value here 20 into 10 to the power of 4 is a numerical value. So, which is a greater value here the numerical value is greater and here the numerical value is less 
because here the centimeter is a greater unit compared to the micrometer micrometers so this is the way of solving so once again i'll explain this problem check it 20 centimeters is a given value he asked to convert into micrometers so 20 centi instead of centi i'm writing it from minus 2 I'm substituting the value and write it into meters first you convert into meter this is the way of best way of doing the problem is any problem when it is given in just convert into standard units that is meter centimeters are given convert into meters nanometers are given convert into meters then you try to change into micrometers this is the first step first i converted into base units next i converted this 10 to the of minus 2 20 into 10 to the of minus 2 meters into micrometers because for that i introduced one fraction which is equal to 1 when you multiply with the given equation, given expression, there will be no change in the value. So 10 to the power minus 6 by 10 to the power minus 6. So whatever the value we need to convert the expression, I have taken it separately and put it in the bracket. And I put the remaining 10 to the power minus 6 here. And then if you just solve it, you will be getting the value in the micrometers. So this is the conversion of units in a lens. So let us take one problem in conversion of mass also. So whatever. Let us take one problem in mass, which is given in our book only. So he has given one problem as 5 milligrams into kg he asked. So convert 5 milligrams, convert 5 milligrams into kg, this is the question. So write the given value first of all. So 5 milligrams he asked. So let us convert that milli into the numerical value milli so 10 to the power of minus 3 and this is grams now i have to convert this into kg so i converted into grams okay then i want to kg the k is nothing but 10 to the power of 3 g so g is existing here but i, I want 10 to the power of 3 so let me introduce one fraction the fraction which is equal to 1 the total value of the fraction is equal to 1 but I will take 10 to the power of 3 in the numerator and denominator. When they got divided, the value will be equal to 1. When it is multiplied with this, no change in the value of that one. So that is into G. Clear? And then I have to just redistribute this 10 to the power of 3 into G because I need kg in the answer. So 10 to the power of 3 into G over here. And then 5 into 10 to the power of minus 3. And whatever the value which I don't need, I will just write 10 to the power of 3 over here. And then this is 10 to the power of 3 grams. So this value I can read it as kg and then simplify this fraction. 10 to 5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 by 10 to the power of 3. By 10 to the power of 3 when it goes to numerator it becomes minus 3 and then total value will be is equal to 10 to the power of minus 6 kg. So that is the answer for this question. So 5 milligrams can be written as this one. So this is a way of conversion, any any conversion, conversion of units in length or conversion units of mass, conversion of units in time also we will use the same technique. And uh, in time also you can be doing like that, uh, 32 seconds he asked you to convert into milliseconds. First you convert the 32 seconds and then introduce the fraction 10 to the power of 3 and by 10 to the power of 3. Then take the whatever the fraction you need and then you convert into the required and desired units. But how do we convert the derived units into some other units? So conversion of units in length is over, conversion of units in mass is over, conversion of time you will be doing that at home practice and the conversion of derived units how do we do it? Very simple man, look at this. So let us take area as a derived unit, area derived physical quantity and its units are meter square, centimeter squares. So he asked one question based on that, conversion of derived units 20 centimeter squares to meter square he asked so 20 centimeter squares to he asked to convert into meter squares and the same procedure we follow first we take the value 20 centimeter square okay so it's nothing but 20 10 to the power of minus 2 meters whole square I am writing centimeter square is nothing but centimeter whole square. Centi, I am substituting into the minus 2, meter, meter as it is and square it. Then 20 into this is 10 to the power of minus 4 meter square simply. 
So I got already meter square. He asked me to convert in meter square only. So be careful. Don't think that only meter square and uh, centi is not a square. So be, we should be careful while you are converting the derived units. So this is a value of 20 centimeter square in meter squares. Okay.